Welcome to the Walk Talks podcast, a resource produced by Southland Christian Ministries located in Ringgold, Louisiana. Our purpose is to provide you with daily devotions so that you can faithfully grow in your relationship with Christ each and every day. We hope these truths will be an encouragement to you as you hear from God's Word today. Well, hello again, and welcome back to another episode of the Walk Talks podcast. This is Marcus again with you, and so thankful for the opportunity again to be able to do this and to just share from God's Word. If you remember, the last couple times uh, I gave a podcast with you was from James 4, and we're going to be back in James 4 again today, looking at verses 11 through 16, and again, just going to read those and then try to uh, draw out a couple of principles uh, from those verses that I hope will be an encouragement an encouragement to you today. Um, so verse 11 says, Speak not evil one of another, brethren. He that speaketh evil of his brother and judgeth his brother speaketh evil of the law and judgeth the law. But if thou judge the law, thou art not a doer of the law, but a judge. There is one lawgiver who is able to save and to destroy. Who art thou that judgest another? Verse 13 says, Go to now, you that say, Today or tomorrow we will go into such a city, and continue there a year, and buy and sell, and get gain. Whereas ye know not what shall be on the morrow, for what is your life? It is even a vapor that appeareth for a little time, and then vanisheth away. For that ye ought to say, If the Lord will, we shall live, and do this or that. But now ye rejoice in your boastings, all such rejoicing is evil. And I just want to draw, again, your attention to a couple things. Um, Specifically, in verses 11 and 12, he kind of talks about this idea of living peaceably uh, with all men. And um, especially in that first part uh, from verse 11, speak not evil, one of another brethren. And obviously, using that language, that terminology, he's talking about saved people. And so just looking at looking at these and seeing how we need to interact with each other as as Christians and interact with our brothers and sisters in Christ is um again that idea of living peaceably with all men and that that terminology comes from Romans 12 verse 18 <clears throat> and obviously there's there's more in context to this this verse in this chapter but just specifically Verse 18, it says, If it be possible, as much as lieth in you, live peaceably with all men. And I think that's something that we should be striving for as Christians, of not getting in um, in fights or getting angry with other people, especially other believers in Christ, and how we need to be, um, if if we have that, if, if that is going on, then obviously we need to, to confess that to one another, to the Lord, and get those things right. Um but then the second part of that, um, and he talks about later, again, in verse 11 and then 12, talks about, about judging. And, and basically the idea there is, you know, God is the ultimate judge and, and we don't need to judge other people and basically take, that, take the place of that. Verse 12 says, there's one lawgiver who is able to save and to destroy. Who art thou that judgest another? You know, it's like we don't have any right per se to judge other people. That's God's job. And we need to allow it to be God's job and to let God judge people accordingly. And, and even, you know, at our own selves, God will judge us accordingly. And um, so just uh, a quick thought there of living, interacting with other people, especially with other Christians, and not having, um, not having disagreement there, not having anger there. Um, we need to be living peaceably <clears throat> with all men. And then verses 13 through 16 talks a little bit about we don't really know what's going to happen in the future and so basically i would say we need to live live each day live our lives like it's our last day you know what would we what would we do differently today if we knew that this was our last day to live or maybe we had you know one more week to live or whatever how would we do things differently and i think whatever the answer is to that question is what we should be doing on a daily basis maybe we would say i have a neighbor that you know I know it needs to be saved and I'm going to go witness to them or I have a coworker who needs to be saved or, you know, I need to go make this right with this person or I need to do whatever, whatever would come into your mind from hearing that of if this was, again, the last day we had to live on the earth or the last couple days, how would you do things differently? What would change in your life 
to, you know, in your mind, be like, okay, I got to do these things before it's over. <clears throat> and obviously I would say for all of us, you know, there's things probably that I could point to in my own life too. It's like, oh yeah, I should, I should do those things quickly. Well, I need to go ahead and do those things, you know, because we just don't know. It, I, my, this could be my last day on the earth. This could be your last day on the earth. We don't know. And we always assume that we'll have many, many more years left to live. And that might be the case, but we just don't know. And so I would challenge you with that idea of live today, live every day as it's your last day to live. What would you do differently um, if you knew that that was the reality, that you only had a, a short time left to live? Um, and again, he talks about our life being a vapor, and it's very, very short. And even again, if you, even if we do have many, many years left in the grand scheme of things, it's not really that long. And so what are we doing today that really counts for the Lord? And we need to be doing those things and living each and every day that way, that no matter what comes into our lives, no matter what, what happens, no matter the circumstances, we need to live each and every day as best we can for Christ and live it with the, you know, I would say with the mindset through the lens that, you know, this is our last day and how would we live our lives if that was the case and, and if that, you know, if it's something different than what we're doing now, then we need to change and be doing doing that, if that makes sense. Because, um, again, the reality is we just don't know how much time we have left. And our life is short. Our life is quick. It'll be over before we know it. And we need to be living our lives day in and day out at the best that we can for God and then living our lives so that you know, no matter what comes in our lives, we live for him and um, it's going to be short. And so we need to live, <clears throat> live, e live each and every day as if it's our last. And I hope that's a challenge to you. It's definitely a challenge to me. And I hope it's an encouragement to you as well. God will give us the grace to be able to do that. Um, but we just need to have that dependence on God to help us to be able to do that because we don't know what's going to happen in the future. So trust in him for that, but then living living each day, doing the best that we possibly can to live each day for God and for others and not for ourselves. And again, I hope that's an encouragement to you, a challenge to you. Thank you so much again for listening to the Walk Talks podcast. I hope this has been a blessing to you, and I hope you have a great rest of your day. Thanks for listening to the Walk Talks podcast. We trust that what you've heard today has challenged your walk with God. It is our prayer that through this podcast, every listener would strive to become more like Christ and faithfully live for Him each and every day. Join us next time, and God bless.